just showing some uh, trades here. Again, you can see here from a different video, I already traded for the day. I am done, but um, just wanted to kind of show that how this uh, support line that I drew a while ago comes into play. I said if it breaks through this line, it would break through. Um, and it has bounced now several times. Not to say that I don't think it will go further, um, but it is NEO, so even if it does go further, I would still kind of prepare for it. But what I wanted to pull up was GameStop, ticker symbol GME. This thing, you know, after it got halted, which is this blank space here, has just been going up and up and up. Um, I'm assuming this would be a short squeeze. Um, let me kind of show you. This is the two minute, here's the five minute, here's the daily. So, you know, just look, this stock has done nothing but just shoot up like a rocket, uh, even gapped up rather aggressively all the way up to here, because that's how the candles work. Some profit taken immediately after the uh, halt, and now it is just shot up even then some. So, you know, even look on a weekly candle, kind of looks the same as a daily, but I am interested to see uh, if this thing does break 140, how quickly, because, you know, just a minute ago it broke 130 and went all the way to 139. Uh, there is a lot of people chasing this stock, a lot of people following it. I have no interest of trading. Uh, just thought it'd be something that'd be kind of interesting to get on tape. Uh, let's see if it can uh, you know, make a push to the upside again. Right now the high is 140. I believe that's all time high, uh, or at least in its, its recent effect. I don't think it's been that high for several years. It's consolidating, consolidating, profit takers. Again, if this thing can break, nothing to shy here still not making any new lows even on a five minute chart it is not making new lows whatsoever so i've got a five minute on somewhere else but i'll show you that's what it looks like so again nothing to get worried about here um you know if i had the stomach for it I actually would place a trade but i just i don't really care but let's see over here watching level twos watching these guys looking to see if 140 can get up on the bid and on the ask and then hopefully just see it crush through it Easy consolidation, easy, easy. Uh, now, if it does break below 135, there's less interest in it uh, from the long side, and it no longer looks like it's going to be that way. Uh, 139, I think you're going to get a lot of profit takers, although you can't short it. So it doesn't mean people who are bought in at 140 aren't nervous at this point. But truthfully, there's really nothing to be all that nervous about. I would have preferred to wait until it got under 130 to see if there was a chance of it showing strength, but the day may be now. 139.50, 70, a lot of sellers, a lot of sellers to be expected. Let's see if this thing can break. Give it about one more minute to see if it can push. If not, I'll just kind of move on about my day. Like I said, I'm not trading this at all. Don't really care. My fingers are very far from the keyboard. But I'd like to see this thing push. We're through a dollar, the half dollar. Going for 142. Lots of sellers. 141.70 on the bid. Um, I'd be nervous at this point. I'd be taking profit. If I was in at 140, I'd at least take half position off the size just because this thing is not shoving upward as much as I thought. Yeah, there. So you take a little bit off, let the rest ride. I put a stop at 140, you know, for a break even at this point, and you'd be out right there. So not that exciting. I was really hoping to see another one of these massive candles to the upside. Now again, it could go, but you know, when you get a, a massive break a breakout from a pull pattern like that, pull flag bull flag now you definitely want to see this thing you know break out or, or take out so you want to either take your money and run or or let it ride now again if you got in you would be profitable but really nothing to you know write home about nothing like these were earlier again still profitable especially if you put in you know a couple thousand shares um here we go can it get over 145 145 is going to be a very large area of support just like 150 um massive numbers where they're just going to kind of likely get frozen in time <laughs> but interesting
Okay. There we go. Broke through 145. Lots of sellers. Can it break 150? Lot of sellers on the bid. <laughs> it's already through it. Wow. We're on the ask. Said earlier. There we go. Okay, so it turns out those who bought in at 140 did make a solid trade as long as they didn't get spooked out on that first minute. Like I said, I would have been, which very accurately I, I probably would have. Wow. I'm a little bit of jealous envy at this point. Maybe I do wish I was trading it. This thing is absolutely absurd. It's up 129% today, up $84. I mean, this is just absurd. So. You know, word to the wise, don't go buying these things looking for them to be an investment because you will lose your account. I almost want to do a video like two weeks from now and see where this thing is trading. So currently at the time of this recording, this is the 25th of January. Um, I'm very interested to come back in two weeks from now and see where this thing is at. I would not be surprised if it was under 80, 90 bucks or if not even lower than that. So um, we shall see, but again, it is not shortable, which means we have a, in all likelihood a short squeeze continues to come. So um, until next time, oh, broke through even 150 really quick. Interesting. Wow. It seems like everybody who took that trade was very justified in doing so at this point. And it just keeps grinding. Interesting. Well, that's going to do it for me. Oh, wow. This was about two seconds after I closed the last recording. This thing got up to 160, 159.18. Massive selling. Oh, man, that has to hurt. Uh, this thing got halted. That's why there's nothing you see here. It was a halt to the downside. Uh, circuit breakers are letting this guy go. Wow. Someone's going to be bleeding when this is over. A halt like that, I can almost assume this thing's going to gap down. Um, you know, initially I did not want to want to you know stick around and watch this but now i do think i want to kind of watch i'm actually going to just keep this thing recorded for the next five minutes um it's either going to be a five or a ten minute halt uh with that being said uh typically the longer the halt the worse it is uh so you know let's just and it is back and look at that this thing gapped down uh 121 immediately punched up, punched down. But again, if you were in that at 160 and now you just got down to 120, that, that hurts. That really hurts. Uh, if this thing goes another downward motion, that thing is going to get halted again, which would actually even be more interesting. Um, let's, let's give this a minute and play out and see if we can get another halt to the downside. That is it's quite the play right there. So those who were stuck in the hall, who suffered through that storm, somewhat you know, kind of reinforced, and the crazy beast who bought down at 120. Again, they're they're about to make handsomely on that trade, but being up, you know, nineteen dollars per share, going down quick. And if this thing really closes that gap, that would be insane.
Okay, it doesn't look like anything interesting else is going to happen, so I am going to wrap it up there officially and move on with my day. Okay, so just bringing in uh, GameStop back in the mix. Uh, I said at the end of this uh, video that I thought that, you know, give it a two weeks and that this thing is going to be down to, you know, about half of what it is now, 160 would be down to 80. So this is all in the same day. This played out about 10 minutes after the fact. Um, but so let's just slowly open that up. So there you go, massive drop again. And then um, the stock did get halted once more. The, uh, the SPY itself is running down. And there it is, it got dropped down to 103. And here we are where the stock got down to $88. So almost exactly at that $80 mark I said. Now this is one, two, three, four halts in. Um, I think it is bouncing up a little bit from now, um, you know, just to kind of show you speed through what the, the futures hold. So another halt, another halt. And uh, I would not be surprised if this thing breaks through 93 that we would go through um, another halt itself. So there, we'll just make sure we're up on the most up-to-date candle. So in all likelihood, this thing will halt. So that is why you do not chase these garbage short squeezes up because eventually when that squeeze is over, it is going to go back down to absolutely nothing. So there you go, just a learning lesson there.